1300 hours Pakistan Standard Time. Assalamu alaikum. This is Radio Pakistan. The news read by Daman Zaman. The headlines. The National Security Advisor says the world needs to devise a system to ensure that assistance reaches Afghanistan before the winters. The National Assembly was informed today that foreign fishing vessels are not being allowed to fish in Pakistan's exclusive economic zone to protect the interests of the local fishermen. Pakistan's naval chief and Kuwait's senior military officials at their meetings in Kuwait have discussed bilateral defense cooperation. In the Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, the Indian troops in their fresh acts of state terrorism have martyred two more youths in Kulgam and Sirinagar districts. In uh, the news in detail, the National Security Advisor Dr. Moid Yusuf says the world needs to devise a system by which assistance can reach Afghans before winter. Talking to a five-member American delegation headed by the Special Representative for Afghanistan, Thomas West in Islamabad, he said Afghani men, women and children are in dire need of humanitarian assistance. The National Security Advisor emphasized that the world needs to engage constructively with the Taliban to avert the risk of instability and return of terrorism. He said we are trying to make sure that the world understands the importance of not making the mistakes of the past again. He said the gaps left by political vacuum and instability in Afghanistan would be beneficial for terrorist organizations. Dr. Moid Yusuf said stable and peaceful Afghanistan is not only in the best interest of Pakistan, rather the entire world. Both the sides agreed upon building strong bilateral ties based on mutual respect and showed the determination to cooperate in all important areas. The Minister for Information and Broadcasting, Chaudhry Fawad Hussain, says the world community will have to come forward for the help of the Afghan people. Talking to press attaches of foreign embassies in Islamabad, he said the situation in Afghanistan greatly impacts Pakistan. He said we want an inclusive government in Afghanistan, but at the same time we are also concerned about the humanitarian crisis there. Chaudhry Fawad Hussain warned that the global terrorist organizations will benefit from any deterioration of situation in Afghanistan. He said stability in Afghanistan is imperative to deny space to terrorist outfits. The information minister said India has remained involved in fake propaganda campaign against Pakistan. He emphasized the need for the international efforts to combat the issue of fake news. The Minister of State for Parliamentary Affairs, Ali Mohammad Khan, says the government is taking necessary steps for ensuring fiscal discipline and consolidation, stabilizing the economy and accelerating growth. During question hour in the Senate today, he said debt to GDP ratio decreased by 4% during 2020-2021 and the government expects that this ratio will further decrease by 2 to 3 percent during the current fiscal year. The Minister of State informed the House that total domestic and external debt stood at 41 trillion rupees. The National Assembly was informed today that foreign fishing vessels are not being allowed to fish in Pakistan's exclusive economic zone to protect the interests of the local fishermen. The Minister for Maritime Affairs, Ali Haider Zaidi, informed the House during question hour that the deep sea fishing policy has been announced after consultations with the stakeholders. He said the bottom trawling has been banned in Balochistan as it damages the marine life and ecosystem. She said cement export has increased 64% over the last three years. The Naval Chief Admiral Amjad Khan Niazi, who is on an official visit to Kuwait, has held separate meetings with the Chief of the General Staff of Kuwait Armed Forces, the Chief of Kuwait Navy and other senior military officials. Professional matters of mutual interest and bilateral cooperation in defence sector were discussed during the meetings. 
The naval chief highlighted Pakistan Navy's role in regional maritime security. The officials from the host country commended Pakistan's Navy's efforts for maritime peace and security. In the Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, the Indian troops in the fresh act of state terrorism martyred two more youths in Kulgam and Sirinagar districts. The youths were martyred by the troops' cordon and search operation in these areas. Meanwhile, the Indian troops conducted surprise search and frisking operation in Sarabala and adjoining areas of Sirinagar city as part of a ploy to create an atmosphere of terror and fear in Sirinagar district. The Indian National Congress President Sonia Gandhi has criticized the Modi government for failing to take effective measures and contain bloodshed in the Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir. During a meeting with the Chief of the Indian National Congress, Ghulam Ahmed Mir, in Sirinagar, Sonia Gandhi expressed serious concern over the deteriorating security situation and the target killings in the Indian held valley. And that is the end of this news bulletin. For more news and analyses, log on to our website, radio.gov.pk, and you can also watch the live video streaming of our bulletins on the link, Facebook dot com forward slash radio pakistan news official